my painting is fantastic and that I just try and paint to, to the tabletop and because of that my painting relies on a lot of wash work contrast paint so because of that I need a brush. I would rather only use an airbrush to paint for the rest of my life than only use a paintbrush to paint for the rest of my life. Three, <sighs> two, one. And this is only on the basis of I have no idea how an airbrush works. And, th th and this is, this is I'm gonna say that right now, this is because I am as useful as a chocolate teapot when it comes to using an airbrush. Oh, this is so hard. That is really, see, for me, it's easy, but I can see you've literally set them off nuclear now. <laughs> so I'll allow you to prime the miniature without using a brush. So you can prime without using a brush. But other than that... Oh, then it's definitely that then, yeah. only ever use a brush or a yeah. brush. Prime black, yeah? Okay. Any colour. Any, from colour. Especially from Colour Forge. So it's got to be black. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. So, because I think if you start spraying it like an orange or a purple, you've fallen. I think, I don't know. So for me, obviously I don't really know how an airbrush works, right? So, and something I'd love to, to you know, to learn. But I think for, for, for me, when it comes to my painting is fantastic. And <laughs> Um, and but in all, in all seriousness, it, it is I just try and paint to, to the tabletop, and because of that, my painting relies on a lot of wash work contrast paint. So because of that, I need a brush. It could be proven wrong. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I need a brush to do that. So let me give you. I'm going to tell you something now. Right which would potentially mean we both swap over our mugs. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I paint a lot of armies to a battle ready standard. Yeah. Okay. I love the thing that I, I enjoy most from my hobby, yeah. in my hobby time. So obviously I paint a lot of armies for the channel. Yeah, yeah, of course. But the thing I love most is spending a long time on a miniature. That, yeah. that I find that the most relaxing, the most rewarding to do. I have to I use an airbrush for most of it yeah, yeah. to get a lot of the bulk, you know, like 80% of the model done. Yeah. But I do that in 20% of the time. Yeah. I then spend the remaining 80% of the time on that miniature on using the brush. And I'm only doing the fine details. So here's my point. This is why right. I think we could about swap. Okay, here we Every, go. Everything you want to do... I can do with an airbrush. You can do with an airbrush okay. and you would do it 20... You would do it 100 times faster, yeah, no, I like, promise yeah. you. So everything that you want to do you could do with an airbrush. Yeah. The thing that I nearly <laughs> I disagreed know. with it is because I can't do... You can't do all those details. Like I can't do an eyeball. No. I can't do an edge highlight. Okay. okay. So all those things that really, for me, push yeah. my skill level as a painter, not that I'm a great one, but... You are. Yeah, I, yeah, the, the, those things that... I can only take a miniature so far and then I have to stop with the airbrush and then the brush has to come out. Okay. Whereas alternatively, I could just start okay. with the brush, but... That's right. why. If I taught you had an airbrush... Okay, this is the caveat. Yeah. If you taught me with an airbrush, it'd be that. Yeah. If from On the basis of what you've just said, and if, if I knew how to use an airbrush, it would probably be off the table. Yeah. Because of the fact of it means that, like, it literally just hits all the nails. The only reason I use contrast paint and washes is because it's an easy alternative. It's like putting yeah. a tint over, a, you know, a, yeah. a, a light. Yeah. Um, so, you know, so, like, when I did my Votan, you know, it's all sprayed white, mm -hmm. and then literally all I do is sit there with the with the contrast paints in front of me and go, yeah, you know, and then then wash the model when it's done. Yeah. So, but if I know how to use an airbrush, it'd be this. It's funny with the skill level of it because the moment you know, the moment we put in the fact of if I know how it works, it goes all the way up here. Yeah. So we let's assume you're the same skill level with a brush as you are with an airbrush. Yeah. Then it'd be this. Yeah. Because on for the, what you want out the, of it. Yeah, mostly because what I want out of it. Yeah. But so you, do you remember that model I painted for Jack? Uh, that um, The Riptide. I paint them a Riptide yeah. and also paint the Commander. Yeah. All done with the airbrush. Yeah. The entire model was done with the so airbrush. 
I definitely think as well, the other factor that actually just comes into it, which I've just thought of, is actually the, the army slash model you're painting. Yeah. Because knights, I I don't know, like if I knew how to use an airbrush, probably like 90% of it's an airbrush and I'll just go over and do the trim. And like, rest. No, you, you could know. do the, I think you could do the whole lot because, yeah, I mean, you've just watched me paint that um, Age of Sigmar model. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, Catacross. Catacross, yeah. right. I painted the whole miniature yeah. with the airbrush. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, you did. Um, you know, I think there's the level of you need the brush just to go in and do Eyes. the extreme. Bit. That's it. But could you not argue, though, that if you were really, really, really good with the airbrush because all you're using is that, you could do that without it? You, you would get better, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not at... So this is why, for me at the moment, I need the brush to get me over that last little bit. Yeah. Equally, that being said, if I didn't have the airbrush, mm -hmm. I wouldn't get to that stage because I wouldn't have the time to do the level of the, like for example, like when I try and paint white, yeah. I would never even dream of painting white, a white army like white scars without the airbrush. Okay. So if I was like, okay, I really want to do white scars, I can do it with an airbrush, yeah. I can't do it with a brush. Here's one, just to throw it in the work. Go on. Does the base count as a part of painting the miniature? And if, and how do I put PVA on the base without a brush? Use a spatula. Use your finger, spatula. <laughs> okay, I think then, yeah, it's probably there then. But I... Weathering powders you could just literally pour on? Yeah, no, it's, I think, this is the thing, with, like, I think the hobby side of it is probably... Oh, is, you could do, in, like, sorry, so no, I'm going to cut you off right now. <laughs> you just you can, had an idea. <laughs> you can do the most, so you can get a base, Yeah. right, and you can just sand it so it's completely smooth. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then just do marble or something. You could do marble yeah. all with the airbrush and okay. a wet wipe. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm over there now then. And Are you now there? Only for where I'm at at the moment. Only because my... you want to use the brush to do all your cool bits. Yeah. I think this is where they, you look at the t this is the two sides of the hobby. This is, you're someone who really enjoys your hobby time. Yeah. Whereas for me, it's like the worst thing. If I was painting for <laughs> just the channel and... And you were just... Just for, yeah. just for tournament standards. If you were crab. Because that's mostly crab other when yeah. except for he's doing his bit. But yeah, no, um, yeah, I think that's. But for me personally, yeah, as it yeah. with with your with yeah. But then I, I I can't because I can't even use the airbrush at all. No, right? but this is the point: is you can't. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go there. Okay. Just there. I could paint a miniature better with my nose than with my big toe. Yeah, I've got a big nose. <laughs> Who thought of that question? <laughs> Which one of you lot thought of that question? Could I paint a model? But I only get my big toes one toe. Like, oh, I get it. I'm not using a brush. I'm just like finger painting, yes. essentially. Oh, well, that'd be my big toe because it's got a smoother surface. So, um, so I could paint a model better with my nose and my big toe. No. You think you could do better with your nose than your toe? I hate feet. I do too. It's a proper ick. Oh my <laughs> god, I think I'd want to be sick. It's like red flag, mate. For me. Do you remember when you were younger? Actually, there's like most people were too young to remember doing it, but like when they did the footprints. But on that logic, that's the only time I've painted something with my feet. <laughs> so and it turned out pretty well. My mum's still got it <laughs> frame, so. Wow. Yeah. No, that is a oh, I feel a bit ill. <laughs> I don't even want to encourage that sort of behaviour. No, I wouldn't either. As a disclaimer, never do that. It's ever. gross. No. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs>